Okay, so this video is for food and health IB geography, the importance of diffusion, including adoption, acquisition, expansion, relocation in the spread of agricultural innovations, and also in the spread of diseases and the role of geographic factors, including physical, economic, and political barriers in the rate of diffusion. So some definitions are diffusion, which is the spread of something more widely, and agricultural innovations, which are changes to agricultural processes that aim to make them more profitable, more energy, water, efficient or more um, sustainable and then you have okay so now we're going to look at types of diffusion of agricultural innovation so expansion which is the spreading disease moving to new areas whilst remaining in its area of origin relocation spreading of disease into new areas leaving the origin behind adoption which is the action of choosing to take up follow or use an agricultural innovation so keep in mind these definitions and um, like in terms of how they would link to agricultural innovations but also we're going to apply this idea of diffusion to diseases because diffusion can be applied to agriculture and diseases so in terms of diseases there are all these types of diffusion expansion which is the spreading disease moving into new areas whilst remaining in its area of origin again this is literally the same but in terms of a disease relocation again is similar Spreading disease moving to new areas, leaving the origin behind. Mix is a combination of both expansion and relo- Oops, no it's not. Infectious and hierarchical. We don't actually go over infectious, but it's pretty obvious infectious is just like passing it on to a different person. But also hierarchical, which is when a disease spreads through an ordered sequence of classes or places. So maybe through income groups from high to low, from like family groups just things like that where there's like an order of different groups or places so hierarchical could also be like from an urban area to a rural area from rural area, area area to urban area and things like that network when a disease spreads via transportations and social networks like a train or air travel and things like that so what are the geographical factors impacting the rate of diffusion? Well, there's physical factors such as sea and ocean barriers, mountains and other inhospitable environments can prevent the spread of vector-borne diseases, climatic conditions, distance decay, economic, there's globalization, economic unions, affluent work, urbanization, access to adequate healthcare, sanitation and education, human-animal interactions, politically, there's quarantines, vaccination requirements, national and world health organization regulations, pub public information campaigns, provision of personal protection such as malaria nets, um, barrier contraception and face masks, and also lack of legal entry.